Hey everyone, Angelo here. Welcome to another design tutorial. Today we're going to be discussing how to import multiple photos or graphics uh, by using a grid frame system. What this means is when you're dragging out a uh, regular rectangle frame to import a graphic, um, I'm going to show you how to divide that frame into multiple frames um, depending on how many images you're putting into this grid that I'm going to show you how to create. So we're going to go through that and I'm also going to show you how to create um, your own static captions so you don't have to individually import or type captions as you're working. Both of these will be time savers when you're designing. Um, you want to spend less time on you know, these kinds of things and more time on being creative. So uh, these two steps, creating your own uh, caption system and creating a grid frame system uh, are two ways of, of uh, improving your workflow, so to speak. So let's get started. Um, I'm just working on uh, a magazine or a catalog kind of layout, okay? So what I'm going to do is we're going to bring in these four backpacks, okay? Um, and then I'm going to show you how to create these static captions, okay? So let's start with bringing in the images at once first, okay? So I have the same layout down below and I've left that space empty to show you how to do this. So generally, normally, what you would probably do is go to your rectangle frame tool and maybe draw out three or four or five boxes on, uh, depending on how many images you're putting in. So don't draw a box as of yet. What you want to do is automatically go up to File and Place. Okay, And I'm going to make my way to um, these images here. I got Backpack 1, Backpack 2, three and four. Now these are PNGs with the backgrounds removed. You can do these with just regular images as well, okay? So I'm going to click on backpack one, hold my command key, click two, three, and four. Once you have all of them uh, selected, just hit open, and there is my loaded cursor, okay? So um, I'm going to drag out a frame, okay? And I'm gonna zoom in a little tight here page a little bit and what I'll do is I'll start on this guide that I have here I can always maneuver these frames afterwards but that's a good starting point I'm gonna left click drag and as I drag as you can see it's just creating one frame for me okay so what I want to do is because I have four images I want to create four different text or sorry uh, frames image frames here so first off I'm still clicking I haven't released yet and I'm gonna click or I'm gonna press the up arrow key what that does is creates two uh, frames and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit also hit the right arrow key twice one actually I just need four boxes so if I did hit it twice it would create six so I only need four because I only have four images and now I can proceed and draw out my text, um, sorry, my image frames here the way I can, um, you roughly want to draw them out according to the sizes of your images. Now what's going to happen is as I release, there's my four backpacks and um, what, what I'll have to do now is I'll have to go in and kind of maneuver them um, to get the effect that I did up at the top. So let's do this. I'm going to that one's good. Actually, a good starting point is Shift Option Command C, and then work your way down. So I'm going to nudge that down a couple of times. So Option Command or Control Shift uh, greater than or less than, and then I'm just using my left arrow key and up arrow key to maneuver that. And maybe I'll use these guides here as a way of positioning that maybe we'll see so shift option command C let's do the same here and the same here okay that one's really big so I'm just gonna go back with it so that might be a little bit bigger and let's move that um, so let me with my selection tool I'll use this guide or this gutter as a good center point like that and then maybe do the same thing here 
just to give equal space between. I'm gonna nudge that one down, move it up. Maybe one more, move it up. Nudge this one down. So you're kind of just eyeballing this right now, okay? Because these are uh, PNGs with backgrounds removed, it's hard to gauge um, how it would look. But the idea here is have the backpacks the same size or close to it, okay? You don't want one backpack bigger than the other. The idea is I can tell this one here could be bumped up just one more and then position something like that, okay? So if you notice here, I didn't alter any of the text frame or the picture boxes here, okay? I just went in, clicked the donut, and altered, maneuvered the content within that frame. And that's the idea. So what I'm gonna do now is I want to collect these two, select those, and I'm just gonna nudge those down. Okay. Nudge those down. Why am I doing that is because we need space under these backpacks once I put in the captions. So I'm nudging those down. That's good for now. We can always revert back, okay? So I'm happy with the sizes of those, those backpacks. If you look up here, it's pretty close, okay? If you wanted to, you can increase the size or decrease, but I'm happy with that. Maybe just move that up just a little bit, okay? Good. So that's it. That's how you would create um, a grid of photos. Now that doesn't necessarily mean you can't go and alter these individually. They're not tied together. It's just a quick way of creating more than one frame and importing multiple photos at once rather than doing it individually. Now you don't want to do that. Okay, so there we go. We have four, four boxes. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, I've created these little prices here. I want those. Just gonna click one and copy it. Okay. Maybe collect those. And bring that down. Something like that. Okay, so now I have the product, the price, and now I'm going to enter the captions that are tied to these images. I'm just going to break through, break away from InDesign for one second and go to Adobe Bridge. And the reason I'm doing that is um, this is how I normally add captions to what's called a meta frame uh, description. So there's my backpacks, as you can see here. Okay. Um, so you would just open Bridge and then target the files that um, or the folders that have these images which I have here and let me just use that one as an um, example on the side here down below under IPTC core you have all kinds of fields and, and whatnot the ones I want to target are description you can add a little headline here if you wanted to but the most important one to target is description so this is where you would add what the product's about, what the image is about, what's going on in a graphic and an image. So this would be good in you know editorial design if you were running uh, cut lines or captions, okay? So once you've done that, that's it, you're done. And now you would save it and those meta metadata are tied to each image here now, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on one, um, hold my option, I'm sorry, hold shift, Let's try that again. Click one, hold shift, and click the others. I'm gonna go up to object, captions, and caption setup. Now I've already set these up here, okay? This is the dialog box that you're going to get. And under the metadata dropdown, you want to select the description because that's what we want the uh, the caption to show what we put in those description boxes when I showed you how to do it in bridge so select description you can position where you want your caption to be I want it to be below the image but if you want it above you can do that left or right I'm gonna leave it below I've also created a caption style in my paragraph style so what I would do before even going to this point is create your caption style, save it in your paragraph styles, and then it will show up here 
in caption style, okay? Offset, you have to set some sort of offset, otherwise the caption will be budding or be way too close to the, the either the frame or the image itself. So I've set a offset of 0 0.5, and once that's done, I'm just gonna hit OK. Now nothing's showing up, that was just to set up the caption. Now I'm gonna go to Object, Captions, Generate Static Caption, and there are my captions that I've created in Adobe Bridge. Now, as you can see, there's some maneuvering I need to do, so what I would do is just copy this stuff or select it and nudge it down. And then you could do the same up here, maybe something like that. And let's take a look at the overview here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm just going to position this so it's centered to my page. And then you could just eyeball to see what you want, okay? One note here, when I'm clicking and I want to change that price, you notice how I can't get to it? It's because my, my caption is in front. Um, just a cool, uh, a, a neat way of getting through uh, things that might be behind is just hold down your command or control key on a PC and click. And then it would bypass what's in front and goes right to the back. And now I can go in and change that. Let's leave that at 69. Maybe this one's 89. This is 109. And this last one's 119. Okay, so that's a quick way. This is very good if you're doing a catalog, much like I've, I'm showing you here. You know, you want to put in descriptions of different items at once using the static caption feature. Now, if you needed to alter one of these captions, you could just go in and edit, the, edit them this way. That won't take effect in the actual overall master version of it in Bridge. So you'd have to go back to Bridge, do your changes, and then apply that change, go back to um, InDesign, go to your links panel, and then reapply that, um, you would update it. So you'd go to these three lines and then update the link. And then you would re reapply that caption static to that image or all the images, okay? But that's totally up to you. So that's it. That's today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, try to use these two techniques when you're um, designing. Integrate them into your workflow because it's going to save you a lot of time and it'll give you more time to be creative as well. So hope you enjoyed it. Take care and we'll talk to you soon. Bye now.